Hi, I've been asked to talk about praying for protection. You know, the Bible talks a lot about uh, God being our protector. And one way that we can see how that is is through the names of God. And there's a bunch of them as it relates to God as our protector. God is, a, is our buckler. He's a strong fortress. He's a high and strong tower. He's a shield. He's a stronghold. He's a helper. He's a shade. He's a shelter. He's the lifter of my head. He's my strength. He's our dwelling place, a hiding place, and a refuge. In Psalms 91, the psalmist celebrates God as a protector. Here's a few verses from that passage. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. His shel he, he will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. He will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. He will rescue and honor them. It is our faith that actually activates God's protection. In Ephesians 6, it tells us, hold up your shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. And then in Job 22, 29, that tells us that we can call on God to help others. So we can pray for protection for our, ourselves, for our household, for our immediate family, for our extended family, for our friends who are near, that are far, for our acquaintances, for our coworkers, for our city, our state, and our nation. So here's an example of how you might pray protection over your family and your loved ones, your friends, and your co-workers. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I come to you today through Jesus Christ, who provided the bridge for me to raise my praises and prayer to you. I praise you for the protection that you have provided me throughout my life and for the protection you provide for my children and my grandchildren. I once again ask you for your protection over me, over my wife, over my boys and their wives, and over my beautiful grandchildren. Now I call them out by name. Protect Jennifer as she boldly serves others. Protect and preserve Ryan and Cameron as they set godly examples of how to love and provide for their families. Protect Brittany and Amber as they nurture my grandchildren in knowledge of you. I ask that you assign an angel of protection around Kinley, Quinn, Beckham, Piper, that no schemes of the enemy will steal their innocence and zest for life. Lord, I ask that you'll be a shield for my mom and my brother who are in Alaska, who, who as winter sets in, will have financial stresses on the increase. I ask that you protect my friends in Northwest Arkansas and Oregon and California for financial protection as encumbrances on their livelihoods are growing. I ask that you make a way where there seems to be no way. I pray for friends that are far from home in foreign lands, that you be their, their high and strong tower. I ask that you be their strength as they are all in serving you. I pray for my coworkers, Lord, that you'll be a helper and a keeper for them. In this time of uncertainty, go before them and open the minds of those who will judge them. I ask that there will be fairness and opportunity for continued employment. And Lord, I pray for our city, our state, and our nation. I pray that, that you protect us from the advances of the enemy on our Christian heritage. I ask that you remind them that you are in control. Lord, I ask that you continue to move here at Key Point. Lord, I ask that you, that you will hear my prayer, be our protection, be our dwelling place, be our shade and be our shelter. In all these things, I ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.